just did a hike, which you'll probably see in another video. Anyway, I'm going up to the um, Palm Springs Aerial Tramway, and I wasn't able to get a ticket online because they limit the number of online tickets, which is actually not accessible to people that are like deaf, for example, where they can't just call up. There's no TTY or like, you know, text to talk kind of thing. So, unfortunately, um, you know, if you need that assistance, you'd have to come all the way out here, <laughs> drive like 10 miles from Palm Springs proper to uh, go to the box office and buy your own ticket. So, um, I need to talk to them about that. <laughs> it's like, make the world more accessible to everybody and no limitations. So, anyway, beautiful, beautiful drive up through the just gorgeous desert. This is my favorite time of year in the desert is the winter and I used to live in Palm Springs so I live not too far from where this is at probably about I don't know six seven miles like in Palm Springs proper and I actually boondocked outside of my old apartment last night so that's how much I know this area. Um, but yeah so I'm just driving another two miles from here up to the tramway entrance and hopefully I can get a ticket so uh, yeah, it's really pretty. It's up, I think, 10,000 feet. Um, gorgeous day, and it's uh, 59 degrees now, but it's um, pretty uh, cold when you get to the top. There's still snow on the mountain. And the San Jacinto Trail, which goes up through like Southern California, through Palm Springs, you can hike the whole thing. I think it's like, I don't know, 20 miles, 80 miles? I don't know. It's pretty long. I have a friend who did the whole thing. And so um, you can actually hike up there. But I already did a hike this morning. Um, so I think I'm just going to wear my snow boots and my thermal top and my snow hat, <laughs> my, my beanie. And yeah, so it's all good. Um, but yeah, so I'll do this and then I'm going to go get my tires rotated, hopefully. Not that you need to know any of this, it's not really important, but usual van life maintenance. So we'll get my tires rotated. I'm a couple hundred miles overdue on that. And then probably do some laundry and just hang out in Palm Springs. I did get a video out last night, so that was great. So you can see that about my... Um, rainy, ruined, rainy time down in Southern California getting from San Diego to Santa Barbara. So I've got a couple more videos to get out which you'll already have seen if you watch them in order. So thank you, both of you, for watching. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, I'm getting some good traction lately. So, you know, thank you YouTube algorithm for putting me at the top for some of these videos. I got over 1,200 views on this Lab City video, which was great. Although I, I have been invited back to, um, you know, do a redo because I was like this place was so overhyped and overrated and then somebody that lives there was like when do you come back and actually like meet the locals so I'll go back and do that um, I'll be coming back through that area you know probably sometime this year so yeah so beautiful beautiful time love Palm Springs you get the mountains you get um, no skiing here but you do get you know a lot of hiking trails you take the tram up really really pretty my ears are popping so I'm probably already getting up to a pretty high altitude. It's a Friday, so I don't know how busy it'll be. It's like the end of spring break, and there's a line, because I think it opens at 10. It's a big long line, great. So yeah, I don't know when I can get a ticket. Online it said, it's a massive line, people. When I uh, was online, it said the next ticket was 8 p.m., but then it said if it's sold out online, you can still get a ticket. So I'm only one person, which is the nice thing about being a solo traveler is that it's only me so you know I can arms and elbows in and squeeze in and breathe in you know I'm not a large person so I can you know wedge myself in the corner or maybe just sit in the conductor section so anyway but yeah this is a pretty long line up here I'll show you how long the line is the longest line in the world so unfortunately my two-wheel drive is not enjoying waiting in line here it's pretty steep and the Tesla behind me was way on my tail. I had to go out and tell him, like, just stay back, like, 10 feet, because <laughs> my van rolls back. My little two-wheel drive van rolls back before it goes forward. And the people in front of me are hardly paying attention. <laughs> so, I actually was behind them for a little bit going through Palm Springs, and they were just, like, weaving into other lanes and not paying attention, and then giving me a dirty look when I beeped at them, because I'm like, can you wake up so that, like, you don't, you know, cause an accident so anyway yeah so I'm sitting in line I don't even have a ticket for the tram so all these people probably have tickets for 10 a.m. I don't know who knows who knows but we'll see this could be just a fail day but I do need to get my laundry done today and I need to get my tires rotated and um, probably take a shower at Planet Fitness if there is one here I haven't even checked there should be I mean it's pretty built-up city it's like 
you have Palm Springs, Cathedral City, um, Rancho Mirage, Indian Wells, La Quinta, and Indio, all kind of like next to each other. And so, uh, and then Palm Desert as well. Um, and then across the freeway, you have like the meth shacks in like Desert Hot Springs. <laughs> and that's all that's on the other side of the freeway. So on the south side of the freeway is all the, you know, um, desert oasis. But yeah, so um, yeah, I used to live here. It was fun. It was really fun. But, you know, it's like everyone that was in their 20s back then and 20 years ago, like my brother as well, like they all worked in the hospitality industry and I actually had a job at an architectural firm. So, and I just went past my old boss's house that he built while he, while I was working there. Um, and so, yeah, like I, I would basically be done at 5 p.m. and then my friends that were all in their 20s would just be getting up to go to work, to go work in the bars and restaurants. So my social life was pretty much non-existent. So I go out to Orange County or Los Angeles, you know, hang out with my old school friends and they're like, wow, like you drove all the way from Palm Springs. I'm like, it's an hour and a half. Okay, I got a standby ticket, so I just have to wait to see if I can get on the next one, but I don't want to have to wait all day. So let me just double check. I could get on a time ticket, but they gave me the standby. So I'm hoping that I don't like have to wait here all day because that would suck. <laughs> so, all right. It's going to go around a couple times during our trip up the mountain. Rotating now the walls, windows, and handrails, they don't move to the floor. Yeah. When you're hanging onto a handrail next to one, you just slide your hands to the left. So just to let you know, the floor is rotating. It's rotating around while we're just barreling up this thing. We got three, three more to go before we get to the top. Coming up on Tower 3, it's got a bigger swing. Bigger than all the other towers. Hang on. Enjoy the ride. Tower 3! Oh, yeah. 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 Tower 3! This is terrifying. <laughs> everything about this. <laughs> okay, we're almost at the top. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mountain Station. The elevation here is 8,516 feet. Keep hanging on when we dock. We are going to bump the sides a little bit. Please hang on to something or someone or make a new friend. All right, here come the bumps. I don't know why it gets so quiet every time I say this. All right, we're going to be stepping up here on the second level where you'll be able to see those pictures that you took down in the valley. 
was horrible. <laughs> I hate that stuff. It's okay, my feet are still on the ground, even if the ground was moving the whole time. It's fine, it's easier going down, but that is super steep. You go from about 2,000 feet to 8,000 feet in like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna hang out up here for a bit. Hopefully there's something to eat. <laughs> kind of settle my belly. All right, awesome, super beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna check out the gift shop first and then the restroom and then yeah this is cool i want a beanie but i don't want one like that those bags are cool which i have no use for uh gloves i need gloves actually figured i'd go in here before everybody else goes in here palm springs aerial tramway i don't need any more sweatshirts just long sleeve t-shirts but oh there we go gotta work so unfortunately, the patio is pure ice, even though I have my grippy winter boots on. So yeah, so I'm gonna go upstairs and maybe go get something to eat. Kind of peckish. Really cool. I always say cool, I need like another word for cool. I always say like, don't say, you know, I'm gonna do Europe or I'm gonna do this. It's like you, you know, <laughs> uh, you do your laundry and you do a poo. So find, an, you know, a hundred words for the word do. Oh, it is open outside. So the same with like, cool. I need to find something else. I'm going to use the restroom first, then I'm gonna eat. And then, smells good up here actually, then we'll go outside. I'll go outside first. That way I really need the restroom. Then I'll go outside. I can stay up here as long as you want, and there's always oh, there's a fireplace, fake fireplace. You can stay up here as long as you want, and then they run every 12 minutes to go down. So let's check out the menu. We've got hummus, we've got duck confit flatbread. Actually, it's really good food up here. I've had the food here before. Probably changed the menu since the last time I was here, and they have a bar if you need to, like, you know, like calm your nerves. So, yeah, I don't need any drinks though. So that was the fancy restaurant. This is just the bar if you just want a quick drink. Um, and then the fancy restaurant is more of a sit down with like actual wine glasses for water, that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm gonna go get um, probably some clam chowder, some soup sounds really good right now. And I'll go outside and bask in this, you know, cold weather because I love the cold.
Anyway, so I'm gonna go to Albertsons right now, which is a supermarket, and get um, some detergent and rolls of quarters, and then there's a laundromat, or launderette, as they call it in England, a uh, laundromat um, right in that same shopping area, so I'm gonna do my laundry. Um, it is about almost one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm only like an hour or so from where I need to be in LA tomorrow, so I'm thinking I'm gonna to drive tomorrow morning, super early or late tonight like I'm not in a hurry to get out of Palm Springs it's really nice here I got good sun it's a little overcast right now but you know I need the I need the sun for my um for my power banks and so yeah just a really really fun day the snow is still in the mountains as you saw um so that's fantastic it's um not very warm or not very cold no it's not very warm or cold it's 63 degrees it's perfect yeah so the rest of the afternoon I'm just going to uh, get comfy in my sweatpants and work on another video if I can get two more videos out today and then when I'm done that's my goal is to get two videos out and then I can be free of Palm Springs you know van life jail I'm just kidding um and then just head toward LA so not too bothered where I'm going to be I'm going to hike uh Griffith Park tomorrow um it'll be a weekday so it shouldn't be that busy um but I'm going to head over there like super early in the morning so I don't mind if I leave here uh late at night or even leave here at, like five in the morning it doesn't matter um so yeah so that's it so I'm going to get some provisions uh I am leaving in like let's see it's Friday so Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday and I think I fly out early Wednesday morning. So four days left. So I don't have much food actually in my fridge or anything. So um, yeah, I'm not needing to have to eat everything in my van before I fly home, but I will be home for five days. And I don't know if I'll do a video about that. I don't think anyone's really interested in my VA appointments, um, but I do have um, a mammogram follow-up, which is an MRI. And then I have um, my annual checkup, which has been delayed a couple months because I was down in San Diego. And then I have another checkup for my spine disability. So just like knocking all of those out and then I need to like sort my house out and get rid of some of Harriet's old clothes, take those over to the women's shelter. So yeah, it's gonna be a busy couple days of running around. So I don't know if you guys wanna run around with me or not. Um, let me know in the comments, but by the time I post this video, I would have already done it all. So uh, your comments are welcomed, but not very valuable. <laughs> So it's funny when people, when the influencers say, yeah, leave in the comments where you think we should go next. And they're like four months behind on their videos because, um, you know, most people have the time delay. Like I've seen influencers at like events where I'm like, wait a minute, aren't you supposed to be in like South America? And then they're not. So anyway, a lot of van lifers here, not as many as obviously uh, Lake Havasu or Vegas, but yeah, I'm just gonna run in. Albertsons is pretty decent. Uh, just, just stock up on some provisions. I've got a couple more hikes and then got a plan in the next couple days, probably when I'm home actually, I'll plan my my great uh, reu reunification of my bicycle to my van. <laughs> so, I have an idea, I have an idea. I think what I'll do is take an Amtrak, which I have never taken. So that would be fun. Trading Prudence here. For a train another train i've taken lots and lots and lots of trains in america but i've never taken an actual amtrak and unfortunately the coach seat is like 80 bucks and the room is like 700 for 19 hours of travel so i'm like yeah i've traveled you know fourth class in india before and 27 hours on a train i can i can do 19 hours in a coach seat as long as it reclines a little bit not like the spirit flights so I don't know. It's like $10 to put the bike on the train. So I'm going to figure that out, but I'll let you guys know later. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this uh, tramway episode and I'm going to go get my stuff done now. All right. Bye.